So here we are. We are in St. John's College. In fact, uh, Shomishtha and I, we've stayed here many, many times. We are on our way to Birmingham as part of the, you know, as, as, as part of our Commonwealth Games coverage, as all of you know. And uh, that's why, you know, on our way, we thought we'll stay a, a day in Oxford because Oxford is still very close to all our half. I mean, how many times have we stayed? Coming to Oxford, he uh, was a student in Oxford from 2001 onwards and we've been coming to Oxford every year, uh, save the pandemic, we've been coming every year and we've stayed at various uh, points in various places in Oxford and at one point we were staying inside the college which is actually a wonderful experience. So maybe you can give uh, everyone a tour inside the college which is actually a rare privilege because it's only uh, very few that can enter St. John's College. It's a very very uh, rare privilege to be so, in this so, college. So let, let me tell Trisha to actually show. So you know this is the main quad. This is called the front quad. So on my left what you just see on my left, that is the precedence lodgings. Exactly what Trisha is currently showing you is the precedence lodgings. On the right, these these buildings, these little windows up there, that's, these are fellows rooms where tutorials are held for Oxford uh, PhD students and graduates. So this is the front quad. There are many quads in St. John's. We'll do a tour of the Canterbury quad and then of the Thomas White quad. And I'll also show you the, the buttery and the chapel. So I think we should go. So as I said, here we are in the St. John's College Chapel. And, and, and this is just outstanding. I mean, I don't know how many hours I've spent here as a student uh, between 2000, not, not in the chapel itself, but in the college and used to come regularly. I still love, I mean, I'll ask Trisha to show you some of these glasses. I, I still love them, absolutely love them. I've got some great memories. And uh, maybe at one point in time, we had posted a photograph. We would want uh, Aisha to be a student here. Your thoughts? Yes, of course. I mean, uh, as I was saying before, it's a rare privilege to come to Oxford and to St. John's College. It is one of the uh, most prominent and the, one of the richest colleges and um, it has a glorious past. So yes, any student that comes here is privileged. So all I will say is, you know, as part of this Birmingham Diaries, today we are showing Oxford on our way to Birmingham, presented to you by DTDC. This is actually a travel vlog, a tour of England in that sense. You've seen the St. John's Chapel. Now it's time to show you the rest of the college and something very special coming up. Keep watching. Like I said, a very special uh, part, this is the buttery. We had, I don't know how many breakfasts I've had here, maybe thousands as a student over the you know, four years between 2000 and 2004. And uh, once Trisha comes in, uh, in, I will show you. So that's the head table right at the top. That's the head table. Uh, she's zooming in and showing you. Then comes the middle table. It's all part of Oxford rituals. So the head table, the professors and the, the fellows sit, then the middle table, the graduates, and as close to you, the undergraduates. So when Aisha comes over, she'll sit here for a start. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> but but what did you like here in the buttery room? You, you've had many lunches and breakfasts. Yes, I've had many lunches and I would greatly look forward to breakfast in the morning. Uh, this was in uh, 2004, five when I used to uh, come to Oxford very frequently and he was still there as a student and uh, I would really have get, look forward to the full English breakfast in the morning and we ate many many breakfasts here and we had many friends at that time so uh, yes. Now is the last part before I conclude this segment and we take it tomorrow. What we'll show you, you can see some wine bottles. You can see, see some wine bottles here. There they are. Tisha is showing you the, the wine bottles. St. John's College, interestingly, happens to be one of the biggest and largest bottlers of wine in the United Kingdom. 
That's what you, you just heard. And yes, Sachin Tendulkar had come to St. John's and I told him, Sachin, St. John's is one of the largest bottlers of wine in the UK. And a friend of mine, Alistair, presented him a bottle of wine and he was stunned to know that the college produces that wine. I don't drink, so I have no idea. But if Sachin is a connoisseur, and he said, it's one of the best wines. So there you go. It is Same. one of the best wines. So St. John's College and she does. So again, St. John's College has many such novelties. Second segment tomorrow, our tour of St. John's as part of Birmingham Diaries on our way to Birmingham for the conference.